Today we're driving from the beautiful city of Maricopa, Arizona to Mesa, Arizona. We do this drive often to visit my parents, but today we're going to a special place. We're going to visit the very first house that I lived in after arriving here from Mexico back in the summer of 1980. Although the house was a three bedroom house with two bathrooms, 75% of the house was not livable. We lived in the portion of the house that was livable, which included a one bedroom, a small bathroom, a small living room, and a kitchen. And it was just perfect. Living in Mexico, we also shared one room, so we were used to it. My dad and my oldest brother were already living in the United States. When traveling to the United States, it was just my mom and four kids. The bus drive was a little bit over 20 hours, which made it a little harder for my mom because my youngest sister was barely a year old. The house was located right behind a store, which is where my dad worked. He picked citrus for the store and packaged it. The only time he was away from the house was when he was out picking citrus. He would bring the citrus to the store and right outside the house was a large machine that would package the fruit. So most of the time he was very close by. My mom also worked part-time at the store. She would package candy and dry fruit. We were left alone most of the time at home with my oldest sister looking out for us. But we felt safe knowing my parents were both close by. We are just about there, but I wanted to point out this corner. This is where we did most of our shopping. Back in the 80s, this was a Bash's supermarket. And the Dollar General that's there now used to be a thrifty store. My dad would bring us here every weekend to get thrifty ice cream. I still recall the very first time that I went shopping with my mom. Everything seemed so nice and clean, and there was so much food. Keep in mind that we lived in a very small town in Zacatecas. Even though there was already running water and electricity in the big cities, in the town that we lived in, we did not have any running water or electricity. Everything was done by hand. So this was a very big change for us. We were always hear stories of people that came to the United States saying that all the roads were made of gold. But when we arrived, we realized that it really wasn't true. When I first came to the United States, I was only seven years old. When you're that young, you don't realize of the opportunities that you have by living in the United States. I don't know where I would be at this time if we stayed in Mexico. All the sacrifices that my mom and my dad made just to bring us to the United States, I am very grateful for. My dad has told me several stories of how he would walk all the way from Nogales to Mesa, Arizona, which is where we're at right now, and many countless times where he was caught by immigration and sent back to Mexico, and many times when he hid and they never found him. He would then come out when it was safe to do so. Yes, I guess you could say my dad was great at hide and seek. Back in the 1980s when we lived in the house, there wasn't very much around us. All the stuff that you see right now was not here. It was all covered in orange groves. Those orange groves were our playground. We would run around and eat oranges, lemons, and grapefruit to our heart's content. Now the majority of the orange groves are gone and they build high-end homes, offices, and businesses. Okay, after a 45 minute drive, we have finally arrived at the place. Although I have drove by this place many, many times, since the time that we moved from this place, I have never taken the time to drive in. I'm not sure why, but now I wanna go in and see what it looks like. This is the store that both of my parents worked for. My dad didn't work in the store, but my mom did. She would package dry fruit, candy, or any other things that they needed packaging. This is the driveway that's on the south side of the store that takes you into where we used to live. And this is the house where we lived. Although it does look a little bit different, it still feels the same. But that house back there, that was not there. That's the area where my dad would package the fruit. The main entrance to the house has been blocked out because now the house is used mostly for storage. And this pomegranate tree has been here for many years, although it's a lot bigger than I remember. To the left, where the container sits right now, there used to be an old shed where we used to play hide and seek. It was probably not very safe because of all the scorpions, but we didn't think about it at the time. And it also looks like they kept a few of the orange trees. Although the giant blackberry tree that was in the backyard is gone. It's probably for the best because that tree made a big mess. 
when we used to walk in the backyard, we would always have to be careful not to step on too many blackberries that were on the floor. And there's still a lot of palm trees where we used to get our dates. We were definitely living the life eating oranges, dates, pomegranates, and blackberries. These parking spaces were not here. This was all cleared. This is where we used to run around and play. This is where I first learned to ride a bike. And I still have the scar to prove it. This section right here was wide open and it was the main entrance to the house. There was also a big mesquite tree right here, which is where we would spend most of our time outside. During the hot summer months, my dad would buy us those big plastic pools. We would fill it up with water and that's how we would stay cool during the summer until we would get tired and go inside. This beautiful grass that you see right now was not here. It was all dirt. And this is the little walkway from the house to the store. So as you can see, my mom was right there. She wasn't very far at all. But back then when I was only seven years old, it seemed so far away. But now that I'm here, it wasn't even that far. Is that, does that make sense? I guess when you're little, everything looks so much bigger. But this is where I lived. My first two years that I lived in the United States, this is where I used to run around with my brothers and sisters and play. The area around the store is beautiful, but I wish you could have seen it back in the 1980s when it was all trees. This is the house that's right next to our house. Back in the day, I used to have a little friend that I would visit and play with. Her name was Nicole. My mom used to work in this little room right here. Where you see the window, that's where my mom would work. So each time a car would drive through, either she or the owner of the house would go back to the house to make sure it wasn't somebody that wasn't supposed to be there. Because they all knew we were at home alone. When my mom used to work at the store, I don't think I ever went in the store. We're going to take a sneak peek in the store so you can see what it looks like. Back then they used to sell fruits, vegetables, and all types of citrus. Packaged candy and dry fruits. Let's see what they have in the store now. This store is beautiful and it's very well stocked with all types of arts and crafts and home decor. But they do have a small section in the back of the store that still sells honey, packaged fruits and candy, and a few fruits and vegetables. Although I never went inside the store, this is exactly how I imagined it. I always saw the citrus on the outside. There was always many snowboards that would stop by and purchase citrus to ship back home. And they also have a few baked goods and ice cream. This coming week is a very big milestone for my family. After so many years of my dad being here in the United States, he's finally gonna become a citizen. My dad does not like to take pictures or be in video. So I'm gonna take a few pictures and videos without him knowing. And I'm gonna post it on our page so the whole family can enjoy it. He's been here over 50 years and it is a very big milestone for him and for the family. Make sure to come back and watch the video of the day my dad became a citizen. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you have a similar story to mine, tell us all about it in the comments. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in our next video. And now let's head back to Maricopa before we get caught in the first monsoon storm of the year.